Happy New Year! I am going to talk to you about this month's January Boxy Charm. I loved everything that was in it, per usual, but I'm going to talk to you about how I'm using this stuff and what my favorite in the box is. So, the first thing I'm going to talk about is the Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask from Glow Recipe. It's beautiful, deserves a space on your counter, has this kind of goopiness to it a little bit, like a little bit sticky, goopy, um, smells divine, literally like watermelon. So I used this on my skin last night and I did notice that it was a little bit sticky at first and then I kind of massaged it into my dry skin after I cleanly or freshly washed my face. And I woke up and my skin was definitely more luminous. It didn't get clogged in my pores or anything like that. I think that this feels super luxurious. If you were sleeping next to a guy and you didn't want to have your face routine and have some kind of thick mud on your face, like this is the mask for you that you'll still feel beautiful in it, but it will do the work. The next thing in my box is the Too Faced Diamond Light Diamond Fire Highlighter. And I kept this one in the box just so I could show you how incredible the packaging is. Like a little bit of a waste for the extra box inside the box, but I really appreciate this packaging. It's so pretty. It feels so sophisticated and French and beautiful. I'm going to apply this really gorgeous illuminating bronzer highlighter with a little bit of pigmentations of pink using my BoxyCharm brush. This is the bigger brush. It definitely needs to be cleaned. Um, I love these brushes. This was one of my favorites from Boxes Past. So I put a little bit on my brush and right on my cheeks, right down the middle of my nose. Love, it's so pretty. It's got a real shine to it. Next, I'm going to look at Ace Butte Scarlet Dusk. Again, gorgeous packaging, big fan of all the packaging, and the colors are really beautiful reds. So you have some like lighter sparkle day colors. These could be a kind of cool in the creases here. Um, and then some pretty vibrant colors too. So I will use my smudge brush from Moda Pro, which I also got in a BoxyCharm of the past, to use Aruba. This is the one that I've liked the most so far out of this box. It's nice and shimmery and pretty in a good everyday color, but if you wanted to punch it up for night, you could put some of this nocturnal in the corners. BoxyCharm has definitely taken me really far out of my comfort zone for eyeshadow. I used to use only the same kind of glimmer highlighter as eyeshadow, and I never did crazy things like putting it underneath my eye like this because I didn't have a lot of eyeshadows. I didn't really shop for them. So these eyeshadows showing up in a box every month has changed my eyeshadow game and given me a lot of confidence to try new looks. Next up, I have the Wander Beauty Trip for Two Blush and Bronze Duo. So packaging, of course, on point, and it's a pretty blush and bronzer. The colors are nice and light and kind of go with everyone's skin. Um, the Tulum is definitely my preferred shade, but you'll see a little bit goes a long way. So I've been putting this on in the morning and then really, really working it in if I want to look like I have a tan because my problem right now is that my body is super tan from my recent trip, but my face, unfortunately, is white because I keep it out of the sun. So just changed to match my tan skin. And now you'll see that this tan actually matches the tan on my arms. Maybe I did a little much. Moving on. <laughs> so the last thing in my boxy charm is this Grande Drama Intense Think Thickening Mascara, Mascara with Castor Oil. So this is my favorite thing in my boxy charm this month because I have been putting castor oil on my eyebrows and my eyelashes 
forever. And let me tell you, it is so sticky and hard to use and hard to apply. And then I wake up and I get some in my eye and it makes my eyes water. So this is so nice to already have it worked into your mascara. Castor oil is a natural way to help your eyelashes grow nice and thick and long and luxurious. So I am such a fan. Anytime that a beauty product is using natural ingredients um, like castor oil, I am so happy to try it out. And in this case, extra excited that I can stop using the castor oil that I have and getting it everywhere. I should do a video just on that so you can laugh along with me. So loved this month's January boxy charm. You get five items for $21 and it gets delivered every month. There's customizable options. Um, I'm just a fan of getting a present every month. And I think that the boxes are really thoughtfully curated. It's usually a really nice kind of discovery package with something that I need and something fun like the eyeshadows that I get to try out or a really pigmented bronzer that makes me tan immediately. But whatever it is, I love getting them. And like always, I'm going to talk about what I liked the most from last month's box. And I will have to say that the Aesthetica Pro Brush Cleaning Shampoo and Conditioner is the winner. Before this, I've only used brush cleaners that are sprays and then you kind of wash them off. This is like actually conditioning and washing your hair. It really does the job and helps clean up my brushes, which is what I'm going to do right now because as you saw, they're pretty dirty. So thank you for watching. Leave me a comment. Do you have BoxyCharm? Do you like it? What's your favorite from this month's January 2020 BoxyCharm?